notepad, I normally get an email telling me I've gone live. And at the moment I don't. Let's have a look. Definitely says I'm live. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's a worry. Is anybody there? Let's turn that off so I don't blind myself. Why am I? Yeah, I'm live. You! Hurrah! That was scary for a moment. So, as I say, do let me know when you join and where you're joining from. Now, I don't know if this date works across the globe, but this weekend is Father's Day. And so I'm going to make some projects that are Father's Day related. Um, I'm concentrating on beside me and hello, Sherry. Hello, Kay. So beside me and enjoy the rhythm are the two stamp sets that I am looking at. Hello, Jane from Georgia. Hello, Mary, who I know is in the Netherlands. So hurrah. People are there. Hello, Deborah from Michigan. OK, so I'm going to flip the camera down. And if I can find my mouse, where's my, my mouse goes for a little walk every now and again. Right. So I have got ready a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock and a die cut that I've had lying around for ages. I don't know. Do we still have the stitched rectangles? I seriously don't know if we do. Hello, Nora. I got your email as it was by the time you sent your, well, 50. We had our team meeting last night on Zoom and uh, where I am in the middle of rural Oxfordshire, we also had power outages. And when I say outages, I mean lots. So the first one, we started our Zoom call at 6 p.m., the first outage was at about a quarter past six. Fortunately, because the Zoom call was already going, those that were already on the call managed to continue. They have retired. Thank you, Kay. I'm still going to use it, but thank you. Because, um, you know, it's just a piece of card that happens to have stitching around it. So, yes, the first one was a quarter past six and lasted for about an hour. Um, so that was hopeless. There was no way I was getting back onto the call because it was only an hour long. Hello, Shaz. Um, and then everything was fine until hubby and I went to bed. And about an hour after I got to sleep, we started, start, started, started having what they call auto closures, which basically means it's like a flick of the switch. But when that happens, um, thank you, Sherry, for confirming it's Father's Day this weekend. Good. Hello, Chris. I'm very well. Thank you, Chris. Um, so, yes, we had about four or five power outages overnight in the wee small hours. And every time there is a power outage, when it comes back on, our house alarm system sends an error message. And fortunately, not the big alarm bell, but just on the panel starts beeping. And we have a panel in our bedroom. So we were up and down a bit last night. So I'm a little jaded but so the first card that I'm going to make is a bit of a case so for those of you who don't know casing is copying and sharing everything copying and there's another word for s and I can't remember what it is anyway it's basically so long as you acknowledge that you're copying um it's all good so I am going to, you've got the same problem, have you, Nora? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? So much for sleeping. Exactly, Sherry, who needs sleep? So I'm going to, I'm going to case this card. In that, I'm going to use white embossing. And um, I think they've used watercolour pencils, which I will go and grab in a second. So the first thing I need is my Versamark and my embossing buddy, which is part of the embossing essentials pack. Um, so with your rectangle of card, which may or may not have stitching around it, depending on whether you still have these stitched rectangles, there are other stitched shapes that you can use. 
I'm just going to put some embossing buddy on. I'm going to grab the um, stamp. Hmm, is D going to be big enough? Just. So Deborah is here from 3 a.m. in the morning. Well, a.m. would be the morning, really, wouldn't it? 3 a.m. That's dedication. Are you not sleeping? You do get to catch me live. That is the plus, Deborah. Hello, Karen. Hello, Leslie. Yeah, Sherry, that is really early, isn't it? It's just mind-bogglingly early. Right, so I'm going to pop my stamped image to the left of my rectangle. I'm just going to leave it there for one moment because I'm just going to grab my white embossing powder. Bring that up. Ooh, nice image. And dabble this in my embossing powder. Now there is a tray that comes with the embossing essentials kit. Um, but I do find that as I've got these in tubs, if the item fits into one of the tubs, I kind of use it. Right. Because that way I don't have to worry about pushing it back. Uh, hello, Jan from Cornwall. Jan, you missed. Good grief, did you miss an awful storm. So, as I was saying, the storm hit at about a quarter past six. At the point where I was still on the Zoom call, apologies, going to get loud with the heat tool. Um, I was watching people walking along the path outside our house. Golf umbrellas turning inside out. I mean, you know, really. Uh, the hailstones were about a centimetre across all over the garden. Um, it's cleared the moss from our roof quite nicely. Nearly got all of it. Okay, um, so yes, cleared the moss from the roof. Um, it has damaged some of my sunflowers and probably more importantly, some of Hubby's fruit and veg. Um, but yeah, anyone having problems with ordering at the moment, tried a few times this morning and when almost finished each time I got an error and a basket emptied. Nora, I would call demo support. I've not tried to order yet today. You're desperate for rain down where you are, Shaz. Yeah, um, Jan, who lives in Oxfordshire but has a place in Cornwall, was asking me to send the rain down to her. Um, right. Watercolour pencils. So. Now, obviously, I'm going on to blue. Radiating dyes are available online, Karen. Yes, they would be a good alternative so I'm going to start with Early Espresso. I may or may not stick to one colour of a one set of watercolour pencils. Just saying, I do need to sharpen this. So I have my good sharpener. Now, I am currently colouring the um, the white as well, but I will be reheating, which will help resolve some of that. Mm, let's see what yellow does in the way of hair. Yeah, that's all right. you can hear some screeching outside it is the local um, red kites who are all terribly excited at the moment for some reason the decal dies are really nice yes yeah I'm sure you're desperate for rain in Cornwall Jan sorry um, we've had two 
nights of storms now. Um, but it's today is supposed to be sunny, which means we're really happy here because yesterday, some of you know this, we had solar panels fitted. So um, we've still got the scaffolding up because that's a different company do the scaffolding. So yeah, so let me show you what we've got so far. So obviously the blue is using some, is affecting the color a little. Oh, Deborah, I do that as well. Just as you think you're hope, or oh, just as you think you're going to sleep, and the alarm goes off! Yay! Um, right. This is I. This was Pacific Point, and I think we now just call it Blue. Yeah, I'm going to go into both sets of pencils. Sorry. But, you know, life happens. What I'm thrilled about is that house martins, who are an endangered species in the UK, um, we've had them here since we moved up. We've seen, um, this is crushed curry. We've seen red kite, um, red kites, um, house martins on our path. They like the mud from the road outside our house. You don't think about colouring on coloured cardstock. Oh, Deborah, you must. You've had about an hour of sleep. Oh, you've got six hours of driving today and nine tomorrow. Oh, no. No, no, no. Um, that's not good. Uh, right. Kus Ooh, I, I'm guessing Bermuda Bay has changed its name as well because um, we don't have Bermuda Bay anymore but I'm fairly certain that the colours are the same they're just we're just calling them different things here in the Netherlands only sun maybe rain next week plants are thirsty well we've now got a week of sunshine um, and then the suggestion is that there may be some more rain at the moment we've had quite enough rain I think for a while um, and I could certainly do without hailstones anymore because I want my sunflowers to have a little more time to put decent stems up it was mostly the weight of the rain slash hail that has pounded them um, I think most of them will have survived but time will tell right okay I'm just gonna see what happens if I okay and what happens if I don't know why I turned that over and what happens if I do that oh okay right so I'm gonna color flesh with white and then I'm going to put some calypso coral over the top very lightly so I want a reasonable amount of white they are going to look quite sunburnt, but hey, it's fine. They're sitting fishing. And I know we've got to give them some trousers as well and also color what they're sitting on. So very likely I'm going to add some Calypso coral just so that that white becomes a little bit fleshier otherwise they're going to look a little bit like um oh smurfs that's what i'm thinking of so i was waiting wetting your lane for the mud for swaz absolutely shaz yes yes and leslie do as you're right do drive carefully there was a band named the house martins there was a band named the house martins so the thing about the weather that we've been having, oh, I think that's probably flesh as well, because that's going to be her other arm. Um, so just because there's been a storm in our village doesn't mean there's been a storm in the village next door. It's all very, very localised thunderstorms. Um, 
and I've watched the satellite pictures of them coming over and it is really, really um, localised. So this is Cajun Craze. So I'll just add a bit of that for here. Just so they've got something to sit on that isn't blue. And I am colouring that white embossing powder again, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Right, so what's that one? Balmy blue. I don't think it is actually, but we'll use it. It's just blue. It's another blue. Balmy blue is a bit paler than this, but it's fine. So we'll give them all the same colour down the bottom. Right, so that's all the colouring done. So let's get rid of those. Gosh, it's sweaty in here today. Whew, it's already over 20, which for the UK is mm, unheard of, really. We've finally got a full day of soaking rain here. The farmers have been desperate, I bet. So I'm just going to heat the embossing powder again which will help to fade back the colour that I've put on it. So it's beginning to go. It probably needs another few minutes, but for the sake of time. That is our coloured image. Now, let me grab my trimmer so that I can make a tent fold card. Oh, not there, you silly woman. There. So we're being terribly um, obsessed by the information that our solar panels are giving us, um, <laughs> just because it's all so new. Um, right, so that's going to go there. We are going to have something over here, but probably in the way of a sentiment coming right the way over. So we've got Happy Father's Day there. And I'm going to grab... Uh, Misty Moonlight and some white card. Is that going to be big enough? Not convinced. Ooh, just okay. This is either going to work really well or not at all. Just saying. going to try it over here. Well, it doesn't actually matter where I try it, does it? Okay, so it needs to go about there. That's, that's okay. I'm happy with that. So it's going to come in from the side, so that will be, bit will get chopped off. That's going to go there. Perfect. Right, okay. We do need some pattern paper, however, and because they are sitting fishing, I have brought out the Let's Go Fishing papers. So let's have a look at these. These are in the DSP sale. So we have lots of fish with kind of fabric on the back and actually kind of novels. Uh, we've got fishing rods with net. We've got this kind of wavy pattern with maps. We've got flies, so hooks and flies with a hatch, more flies with um, a diagonal, bigger fish with a gingham. So I'm thinking I'm going to embrace the misty moonlight because that was what I was looking at. So I'm going to take those two And 
So I'm going to have, this is going to be a strip and it is going to be that way. Uh, and that might just be a strip over the top with then that coming in from the side. So we don't actually need that much of this, but hey, we're going to go for quite a bit. This is three quarters of an inch wide. So I'm going to cut this as an inch and a quarter for no real reason, just because I am. Uh, and I'm going to cut this at an inch. No, actually, I'm going to cut it at seven eighths of an inch for no good reason other than I am. Now, bum, bum, bum. there it is, can't see it for looking. So I need it yay much. So this is going to go right the way across the middle of my card. Ish, I say middle ish. So this is going to go down first. And I'm going to say my middle is actually about there. So I'm about an inch up from the base, straight across. Actually, I might as well wait and do all of that at once. So this is then going to go over the top. Oh, while I'm faffing with this. Hello, Jenny. Um, do remember for those of you in the European market that my buy one, get one sale has started over on Facebook. So if you want any retired items, you just order them or claim them from my Facebook page um, group and you pay the postage for me to get that to you, plus you place an order um, at the online store for at least the same amount, and you get all of it. So you just pay one amount, but get two lots of stuff. So that's going to be there. And then we're gonna have the sentiment coming in. Ooh, should probably have done it on white, but it's fine. Um, so that's going to come in from there. That's square, that works, perfect. Right, okay, this is going on dimensionals. Hello, Margaret. All the way from Sydney, where it is winter. So we're getting to the warm part of the year. We're almost at midsummer. Next week we will be at midsummer, which is always slightly depressing because then it's downhill to winter. So this is going as centrally as I can make it. Kind of like that. Then my sentiment, which I keep putting down and losing. I am going to do the whole angle bit because I like a bit of an angle. So that's going to go here. Ooh, possibly not that much of an angle for this. So that's going to go there, and I can have it as far in as there, and that's fine. So I need a dimensional on the edge. So let's pop that there. Some seal. This, which is slightly crooked, is going to go there. Like that. And I'm going to go a bit rogue here for me. And um, I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. Oh, thank you, Deborah. So we've got birdies. So I'm going to add mm -mm -mm. it's going to grab.
grab a piece of scrap. Also known as small grid paper that we don't do anymore. But I want these to be coming off the edge. It looks more intentional if you have some of them coming off the edge. So that's all I'm doing is just a little bit up at the top there. Thank you, Karen. I know, Deborah, and it's slightly depressing thinking that we're about to topple over from going into midsummer to going out of it again, just as we've got our solar panels up. So we're trying all sorts of fun and games with charging the car with solar panels, because if we use the main charger, it draws a lot from the grid, even if we ask it not to. Um, but if we use what we call the granny cable, so just a 13 amp plug, um, it's fine. It works perfectly. And at the moment, we're still putting stuff into the batteries of the house and um, the batteries of, well, and sending some stuff back to the grid. So it's all good stuff. Hello, Brenton. Right, okay, so that's our first card using this beautiful set. I love it. Um, so let's grab this and pop it back. I'm going to do a card with the other set and then come back to this if we have time, which we probably will. You're watching while you're travelling. I'm hoping you're not driving, Brenton. Just, sorry, catching up on your comments. Right, so that is that. I'm just wondering if it needs a bit of something. Ooh, they're not the right, they're not the colour, but I'm going to add them anyway. Um, because I think the boho blue will go beautifully on here. So let's add a bit of boho blue. So we'll have a large one there. You know me, I love my threes or odd numbers. We'll have one, hmm, one down here. Hopefully that will still keep us out of large letter territory. And we'll have another one just there, just to add a little bit of something. Right. You wish you could have solar panels on your house. Well, we weren't sure if we could because we're in a conservation area, but we checked with the local district council and they said it's fine. So we have. Right, okay, so this time we're doing more heat embossing because why wouldn't I want more heat in this room? <laughs> Hello, Jesse. It's people on the highway. Do it. Yeah, let's not even go there. Right, okay. I am going to go, ooh, yes. Ooh, yes, we're doing it. We're going to go classic. black. That's not on that block very well. Let's try that again. It's better. So I think I'm going to heat emboss first and then die cut because I haven't decided what die cut I'm going to use. I might use the deckled ones seeing as we mention them. Your Father's Day is in September. Oh, okay. No, ours is this weekend. Right, okay, so, embossing buddy. Don't know why I'm putting the Versamark away, because I need it. So this is from Enjoy the Rhythm, and it's the drum set. And I'm just thinking gold on black is classic. got 
my gold ready to go. I'm just going to grab my spoon because this is going to be a dribble job. That doesn't look too bad because obviously this won't fit in my box. So this is where you can use your uh, embossing essentials tray if you want. So next weekend, not the one coming up, but the weekend after, we've got a huge team event that is run by my upline up in Birmingham, which is going to be fun. Um, I think there's 35 of us. So a good number of people, not so many that it becomes overwhelming, but not so few that it's few. Right. You never know, Sherry. I may be able to use it. I may be able to be allowed to have some heat, or some electricity in the winter. Right, so that's our drum set. And I need some foil. Oh, I know what I can use. Ho -ho. I know what I can use. More dazzle. It's not quite the same colour gold. So let's see which is going to be better. No, I think that one will be okay. So this is one of the new pa new specialty papers that we've got. So Karen, your Father's Day is this Sunday. Leslie was crafting all afternoon, packed for hospital, and I have to be at admissions by 3 p.m. tomorrow, fingers crossed. So you'll watch Thursdays on replay, that makes sense. I'm going to turn that, oh, it's actually not too dazzling. Um, I was going to say I'm going to turn it upside down. Right, I think I know what I want in the way of dies. So if I can find them, no, not that. Uh, right. So I want, ooh, those are radiating. Let's bring those out just in case. Right, okay, so I've got stylish shapes and I've also got the radiating stitches. Right, so I would have to play games with that, which is not to say I won't. Leslie, I hope this is the last time you have to go through this and that it works. Yep, made for the job. So get rid of those. The only query I have over that is, I suppose I can just cut that. No, that's fine. Right, sorry, my brain was just thinking, do I need to find something that I can then also die cut in the more dazzling? And actually, you don't really want to die cut the more dazzle because it will blunt your die. will go through the mini if I trim it down a wee bit more. Right. me thinking I had some bits of sticky waiting to be used and I don't so I'll have to get some. Now the main reason I'm going to be using 
low tack tape is because um, because I've heat embossed this it's a bit wibbly wobbly that's a technical phrase obviously um, so it's not going to stay flat on its own so it needs a little bit of encouragement where I would expect them to be. Right, okay, so we've got this. I'm just going to get rid of the um, extra powder from the embossing buddy. This is a, a adhesive remover, which we used to do, but we don't anymore. So, uh, I am going to go black on black, so I need more black. And I need a full sheet of black. Oh. Looking at my ribbons to see what I might be able to add, and the answer to that is not a lot. Oh, actually, now I do know what I can add. Right, so this is going to be a top folding card done portrait. So I'm going to cut a strip of this. No, I'm going to actually cut it square. So this is give or take, yeah, give or take two and three quarter inches square. So if I cut this at three, and I turn it upside down because it's slightly less tough on your blade but you do find that you're going to get bits of the sparkly stuff caught in the track so do remember to clean that out so this is going to go on there and then I'm also going to add is that the one yes some of the gold ribbon as a zigzag behind so I'm going to do that first After doing hours of travelling each day this week, I will be spending the weekend making my son's wedding. Oh, wonderful, Shaz. Hello, Angie. Love it when you te when you get all techy. <laughs> oh, Jan. Um, I missed some. I missed some comments, and I now can't go back up. Okay. Oh, now I can. I can. I can. Um. Love the drums. The drum kit looks amazing. Thank you, it does. First time I've used the stamp set. <laughs> nice bling. <laughs> Hello, Laurie. Yes, I know. Um, so... <laughs> Sorry I wasn't able to be on my own meeting. L Laurie, who is on my team, um, our team, I like to use our team, um, literally she joined the meeting as the power was going out. Uh, so I just managed to admit her to the meeting and suddenly everything went. So, yes. So I'm looking forward to watching the meeting back because we record the meeting so that people who can't make it can then watch the recording back. Um, but yeah, 
And of course, what we weren't able to do, Laurie, is celebrate the fact that you hit qualified team member, which was what, <laughs> one of the things we were going to celebrate. Um, but scissors. So yes, it was all a bit weird. Right, okay, so I'm gonna put this straight onto the card. This is going to be on dimensionals because dimensionals fit a stick to this really nicely. Hello, Carol. Oh, Shaz, that's always the way things always happen. Um, at the, you know, when you're not expecting them to and they oh, things always come along at the same time. Uh, because I've got this out, I'm just gonna attach with this. I'm glad you had fun yesterday, Pam. <laughs> sorry, as I've just said, sorry I couldn't be at my own meeting for terribly long. But there we go. Uh, I don't know why I've done that because it's the same each way. But there we go. So this is going to go so it is square at the top. Or even is probably the best word. Then black dimensionals. Where are my black dimensionals? They are. If anyone in Europe is thinking about buying some black dimensionals, now is the moment to do it because we have lots of stock. So, right. So, ooh, no, don't drop it, Liz bad idea. Now theoretically if I get two corners square everything else should fall into place because it's a square on a square. And we will trim the ends. Let's see what we can add. Today you're going to be in deepest Devon to going from deepest Devon to Birmingham and back and then Portsmouth. Good heavens. Oh, I hope tomorrow goes well, Shaz. Right, let's see what. Ooh. No, they're a bit too subtle. If I'm going to put anything on, it's got to be fairly blingy. That's quite subtle as well because they're brushed. I seem to have three packets of the oval, ooh, that might work, of the oval um, adhesive back things. No. 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 Ooh. No, they're more copper than... Right, okay. We are going with... with iridescent because iridescent basically goes with anything it's my theory and i'm sticking to it i mean it's not that we haven't got a lot of bling on here anyway but who says you can have too much bling i don't think you can have too much bling so that's that. Now it does need, obviously, a sentiment. Um, there are other Father's Day sentiments, which I do have, but I want to limit the number of stamp sets I use. So I'm going to go back to our Beside Me stamp set. So I'm going to go, you've always been there for me. Oh no, celebrating you today. That will be good. No, I'm going to stick with black. I was suddenly thinking, am I actually going to go gold with black embossing? And I, no. That's introducing one too many things of gold. We've already got three shades of gold on there. So let's not push our luck. Oh, 
gold embossing powder. Why did I put it away? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Is it square? Yes, it is. Yeah, Leslie is making a conscious effort to use bling. Laurie says there is no such thing as too much bling. A lady after my own heart, as far as that is concerned. Right. There we go. I might have to straighten out that when I'm cutting, but that's fine. Is that even a sentence? I'm not sure it was. So this is slightly crooked, very slightly crooked. So let's see what I can do about straightening that up. That looks straighter. So I can line up the bottom with this edge of the trimmer gutter. So that is now straight there. Gonna have to come down a wee bit. And again, I'm lining up with this edge now. So do have a look at your trimmer to see where you can line things up if you want them to be. Oh, Leslie, thank you. Oh, thank you, everyone. Oh, I'm trying to go back up again and I can't. Thank you, Shaz. What's a chin wag? <laughs> oh. oh, Shaz, you're so nice. I mean, I'm, no reason why you shouldn't be, but you're so nice. Um, minimum five to seven gems, rhinestones or sequins. What a great idea. Really helps is a comment posted below the video once the live is over. Oh, Shaz, you're wonderful. Right, so this is actually going to go quite a long way down because it's otherwise it's going to feel as if it's not in the right place. I'm not convinced that is terribly square, but hey. We are going to go for some more bling, by the way, just in case you were wondering. So two of these. So I'm going to have one there and one down there. And then... By putting it where you need it to be on the base, you then have the vaguest possibility, hope, that you can get it all lined up so it's nicely supported. There we go. Whereas if you put it on the back of your sentiment, you're in a bit of a, am I going to get it in the right place? Ah, oh, thank you everyone. Right, so let's get some more bling in here, shall we? So I'm, I'm going to end up with an even number, but it's fine because I'm looking at two areas. So for me, these are not six, they are three and three. So there we are with that one and I will probably add a liner with um, the treble marks so let's do that shall we with the treble clef and then we may just have enough time for one very quick card so let me grab that and I'm going to go memento 
let's just check that this is the right size. I, the reason I'm checking is that I've had a couple of rogue sizes, which is never a good idea because you do things <laughs> and then suddenly realise you've done things and it won't fit on the front of your card. Had to Google shimwag the first time you heard it. Yeah, it's just lots of yakking. Um, I love gold and black. It's, as you say, absolutely classic. And flip that over, grab that. There we go. So that's our second card. And I'm going to go back to the other stamp set. And where's my cleaner? There we are. Just need to clean my stamps. One, two, three. Yep. Knees up, Mother Brown. That's dancing. Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, knees up. Okay. <laughs> Laurie, I, hadn't, I wouldn't have noticed what you had put originally if you hadn't corrected it to gold and black. Right, other stamp set. So, ooh, I was going to do a bit of embossing, embossing. I was going to do embossing with something else as well. Never mind, it's fine. So that's that stuff, so that needs to go there. Right, okay. We are on a roll. Uh, at least we would be if I could find my crumb cake. There we are. Right, crumb cake. We're going to go crumb cake on crumb cake. So, I'm deliberately not scoring first because I want a mat as well as a. So this I'm going to emboss, as in dry emboss. And I need those two plates. So I'm using a 3D embossing folder, which is a new one in the new annual catalogue. would be if I hadn't thrown it to one side. So it's the one that's got brickwork and splodges. I can't remember what it's called. I'm so sure someone who is better at remembering these things than I am will be able to confirm what it's called. Ooh, didn't want that piece of paper. So it's the number one plate and the number four plate. terminology yeah we've got a few local and they're regional as well so you'll have cockney rhyming slam absolutely right so that's this is what we've got so it's just a subtle exposed brick thank you Kay I knew you'd know I knew you'd be on it. So that's that. We've got our card base. We need some white. And I'm going to go for the bicycle. Boom, boom, boom. 
will that go on a D block? Just. Just going to give that a quick clean. It's got ick on it. I haven't done that yet, Jesse, no, but I must ink it and emboss with it. It is an absolutely awesome folder, Brent, Brent and I agree. Right, I am going to go this way. I'm going, I'm going to cut it down, but I need, I need, I need to save as much of it as I can. The lid is there. So let's cut this down. And I'm gonna cut it without even really thinking about where I'm cutting it. This is gonna be one of those, it really doesn't matter where you cut it. That'll do. That will do. So this is going to go on here, probably about there. And I am going to colour it, I think. I'm pink, therefore I'm spam. Let's go with that. And that. And that. And... Ooh, ooh, what colour am I going to go? Let's have a bit of that. With that. I have no idea what I'm pulling out, but I'm pulling stuff. Right. Oh, we need some hair colour. Let's go with that. Right, pecan pie for hair. And I'm going to do it all the same colour. little bit of pecan pie here, the hair there. Might need some other colours, but hey. Seven and eight, let's go. I can't remember which is the darker one. That's that one. Right, so that's going to be the child. This is going to be the adult, the father. So this is 700, that makes sense, because as the numbers get bigger, they get darker. That's all of his skin. Not quite sure what's going on there. It's a bit weird. Anyway, I think I might ignore that. Very odd. Right, where are we? I love the stamp. It could be me and my dad there. But no helmet. Yeah, we didn't have helmets then. I, I have to say, I do see some really odd things out in my travels. Um, because... Um, Because there's, I saw, this is Lost Lagoon Light. I saw um, a mother cycling back from having dropped her child off from, I'm guessing, day nursery. Because it was, she had a pull, a, a, one of those tug along bikes behind her. She didn't have a helmet on. But there was a, she had a helmet over the handlebars. So my thought is, like pe like pretty peacock. Um, my thought is, still don't know what's going on there. Um, that she makes her child wear a helmet, 
but doesn't give a good example by wearing one herself. Which I just thought was a bit odd, frankly. Right, I'm going to give shoe. I think I, I don't know why I've done that. Let's let's just colour all of that pretty peacock. Let's call all of that a shoe. I will have to get some other colours for the bike, but is all good. I just wish I knew what that was meant to be. It's just this weird shape. Oh, that's a hand. Oh, I think that's a break. Okay, I think I'm there now. So that's his thumb and elbow, and I think that might be a, I don't know what that, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to call it all flesh and be done with it. Right, so Dad is going to be wearing some very odd colours. Um, some Tahitian Tide on top. I don't often wear, uh, wear, use the brush end of my blends, but for speed I am going to, and part of the reason I don't is because I don't find it is terribly easy to control in that so much ink is being discharged that it spreads where I don't necessarily want it. So it's not a lack of control as in I can, I can colour just as easily using this end, but I do find it spreads a bit more. Uh, and let's go dark pretty peacock. Hmm. Yeah, for his trousers, only because it's here. So I'm trying to not go too in your face bright. So although the Tahitian tide is is not subtle, it's not it's not like I'm using sweet sorbet or poppy parade or anything really bright. And that is because this is all going on crumb cake, and I think it would look a little bit odd. This is not the best colouring I have ever done. Just saying. Right, okay, so we need a crash helmet and some bits for bikes. So, black smoky slate and that or that's a little bit weird up there. Let's go with that. So this is dark moody mauve. And I'm going to use that for the crash helmet. So we're sticking to this slightly um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not sepia because it's not, but it's slightly toned down. Absolutely, parents and grandparents should set an example. Um, I don't have children, so I'm perfectly happy to not wear a crash helmet, but it does seem very odd that if you are expecting your child to wear a crash helmet, why wouldn't you? So this is black, as in dark black, which just does my head in every time. This is light black, which equally does my head in. And 
everything else is going to be smoky slate. I'm not quite sure what some of this actually is. Oh, I've got another tire there. Oh, which needs to be black, Liz. Not smoky slate. Uh, black. That is a tyre. And then light black for his shoes. And there's just one more colour I need to grab. And that is crumb cake so that this hopefully will help tie this into what we're putting it on. I am going to extend that shadow a bit because for me it just needs to be a bit bigger. You try very hard to set a good example, Jan. Good. I'm sure you do. Say, so I don't have children, so I don't have to. They're not my responsibility. Light black. We used to call it faded. Yes, absolutely. Right, let's throw that lot over there. Otherwise known as clear the decks. Bone fold up. So that's going to go on there on dimensionals. But I also want to add a little bit of something else. Will that work? Or will that be better? Ooh, that might be a bit radical. <sighs> Shall I play it safe? I'm going to play it safe. I know, sad, isn't it? So this is the stitched ribbon that comes with the real red that carried over from the last catalogue, I think. So that's going to go about yay. So we need seal plus so we can have it either there or we can have it there I think mm, I'm gonna go up so we're gonna have it there we're gonna. This is gonna be an expensive card. One of our neighbours' sons rode a motorbike, and up and down rode like a loony. Doesn't matter. That is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So yes, this is going to be an expensive card to post. So otherwise, you know, hand deliver it. I am using additional um, dimensionals because with having embossed this with quite a detailed embossing folder, uh, it's a bit lily livered. You know, it's not got any built in strength. So gone over very slightly but that's fine so things to remember um, DSP sale 15% off lots of the pattern papers certainly all of the ones that are for the sweet sweets um, and the eclectic one which is the one that is loads and loads of papers um, as I say some of the other printed papers as well and um, amazing joining no that's the wrong way up sorry the card was the wrong way around um i had a slightly longer half so that needed to be to the front um so yes amazing joining offer joining aff offer um whatever that means and yeah 
so do make take advantage of all of that I've had two and a half people join my team this month so far our team um, one of them's doing it today but she had a problem yesterday so couldn't I am going to bring out these which I didn't use on the black and gold because they're brushed and on black and gold that would have looked odd but I think they'll look perfect on here I'm going to use these ones here which I don't know what color they claim to be but they're going to be used I'm not putting a sentiment on the front of this card Ooh, I'm going to use lots so I'm going to do clusters Um, so yes, make make the most of all of the amazing offers that are currently available. No, I don't want that there. Maybe up here. Um, if you were to join, remember you can add 15% off designer series paper to your starter kit and get even more. <sighs> Kay bought the masterfully made DSP. I hope you have fun using it. Definitely it's better in person. So that is this card. And we've got, if I can find the, got that one. And somewhere, somewhere I've got the other one. Where did I put the other one? No, don't do that. Somewhere I have another one. Where have I hidden my blue card? No, I can't find my blue card. There it is, completely buried. So there we go, three cards. Oh, thank you, Shaz. Well, a bit over the hour, but yes. I suppose by the time I blithered for a bit. So yes. Some ideas for anyone celebrating Father's Day or, you know, male relative day or whatever. Right. OK, let me flip the camera back up. Hard to choose your favourite. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. So thank you very much indeed for joining me today. If you've enjoyed it, a thumbs up is, as we know, always appreciated. If you don't already subscribe, the bottom right hand corner is your friend. Um, do remember my buy one, get one free sale over on Facebook. Um, there's a link on my Instagram feed to it or Instagram prof profile. So if you can't find it, it'll be there. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, everyone. Um, I will be back on Thursday. And in the meantime, keep safe. Thank you, Kay, for sharing. <laughs> I was sorry our team meeting was cut short as well, Barbara. Um, we sat in darkness for about an hour. But hey-ho, life happens. At least I had predicted that it might, and so I could warn you that it might. Um, anywho, thank you, Mary. Um, thank you very much indeed. Ha keep safe. Shaz, please be careful with all that driving. I hope your son has a good um, review. And I will see you all again very soon, I hope.